While nearly all laptops have a built-in webcam, a standalone option has the potential for much higher quality. So, I've chosen three webcams at different prices to see which is best. At the lower end is the Asus C3, offering full HD video for under £50. The mid-range option is from the big name in webcams, Logitech. Their latest offering is the Streamcam, with 60 frames per second video. And the more upmarket option is the AvaMedia Live Streamer Cam, with 4K resolution and an adjustable field of view. Give me a hug. I'm partnering up with Akafi Ali. Hello, Akafi. Hi, John. He's a celebrity in the TikTok and YouTube worlds and spends hours each week filming himself. Are you serious? So he knows what's needed to make yourself look good on screen. Our first test is picture quality, and I'm going to help Akafi create our own take on a social media trend, the mukbang or eating show. They should have added mossy um, sauce. I love a bit of sauce where YouTubers trough down large quantities of food for their online audiences. It's quirky and colourful, the ideal test of our webcam's video. Mukbangs are always so fun to do. Ah. You eat and talk and connect to the audience while doing it. And as I've lived most of my life in the English Midlands, a calf is sourced some regional specialities. Why don't you try some with some custard? Which should give our webcams, as well as our taste buds, a run for their money. I'll give it a try. This is an unusual combination. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> First up, the budget Asus, which offers 1080p video at 30 frames per second and a fixed focus lens. A really great combination. Oh my God, it's, really, it's definitely amazing, guys. Yes, yes, yeah. that's a real surprise. Time to watch back our viral video. I don't think I'm particularly in this shot missing the fact yeah. that I haven't actually got any focusing going on. It's, it's a... sharp, I'll give you that. It's not yeah. vibrant. I agree, mm. it seems to have a very limited dynamic range. Yes. If you're going to be on in front of a camera, you need to look good. Not an overwhelming performance from the Asus, then. So, how would the mid-priced Logitech fare? This webcam does have autofocus and the option of auto-framing, which uses face-tracking software to follow and to digitally zoom in on the person speaking. Useful if you're moving around on screen. It's a bit random, though, isn't it? If the shot is moving about, it's going to be difficult for me mm. to edit or, you know, look. It's just yes, you were about. talking and it zoomed in on me. Wow. How could it do such a ridiculous How thing? Could you? However, it does give full HD video at a potentially smoother 60 frames per second. I think the pictures do look a bit smoother than the uh, Asus in movement terms. However, I'm still not satisfied with this one because the colouring is a bit off as well. It's too white. So it's a no and a no. No, so far. Perhaps the Ava Media with 4K recording at 30 frames per second will do better. Check out custard. What the hell? Let's give it a go. No. 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 Are you no. serious? The Ava Media also has an AI tracking feature, although only when live streaming. Its best feature is its image quality. But what would a Carfi think? This webcam is absolutely the best right now. Mm. I think it's certainly the best of the three, and probably mm. the only one that I think maybe would be sure to give you some sort of advance over the camera that's already built into your laptop. So, the Ava Media takes the first test. Can it keep up the good work in our next test? Low light performance. Poor lighting's a problem, whether you're a content creator determined to look your best, or an average Joe trying to pick out faces on a video call. We're taking bad lighting to the extreme to push each webcam to its limits. Oh, John. First up again, the budget Asus. It, I think it's doing quite well in these dark conditions. It's actually doing great to keep up with the light. Low light performance is often related to a webcam's lens aperture, which generally ranges from f2 to f2.8. The lower the number, the more light gets in. And this cheap Asus has a surprisingly wide f2.2 aperture. Let's try it backlit. Oh. Now, John! It, does, it looks very surreal effect. It's almost like, a, like an old 80s uh, music video. Maybe a, maybe a Bonnie Tyler. Now, who the hell is Bonnie Bobby. Tyler, John? A mixed result for the Asus. What about the mid-range Logitech? Oh. Oh. oh! John, this is bad! It's... We're almost indistinguishable <sighs> uh, from the, from the gloom. Is... I mean, it's useless, really, isn't it? Uh, John, it's so dark. 
I look like a shadow. Can the Logitech's backlight correction software salvage its reputation? I've got a bit more detail in your face than mine, I think. It's not entirely surreal. Not a ringing endorsement. Can the Ava Media put on a performance to match its price? Ooh, it's, it's, this is bad, John. It's making me a bit orange and dark. Not, you know, apart to what I w would have expected from this particular webcam. Doesn't seem to be exposing for the outside or the inside. We're almost right. in silhouette. It should be exposing me and putting me in the subject. So the low light test has turned our results on their head with the cheapest camera performing best. But there's still a webcam feature we need to test. Audio quality. It's particularly important when you're contending with chattering colleagues and beleaguered bandwidth on video calls. So we're going to test it by recreating some classic video call fails. In a real world test, chatting via Zoom while in different rooms. And for the ASUS, we're recreating a classic of court hearings gone wrong. That time an American lawyer couldn't remove the cat filter. I'm here live, that's not, I'm not a cat. Uh, Judge Carfe, can you hear me? Mr. Bentley, what is that on your face? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's some sort of filter or something. I'm not a cat. <laughs> The Asus uses dual beam-forming mics, sending a listening beam in the direction of the talker to filter out ambient sounds. No problem whatsoever. Audio is fine, we can hear each other. It's not necessarily sort of hi-fi sound, but uh, it's certainly clear. Our mid-range option is helping us to recreate the infamous video call of a parish council meeting gone wrong. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. She's just kicked him out complete with a change of outfit for authenticity. You do not have the authorities. I'm afraid I am booting you out. How dare you, Jackie Weaver? The Logitech has dual omnidirectional microphones with a noise reduction filter. I can hardly hear any background noise behind you. I can quite obviously see people talking. It just sounds more natural, I would say. And I actually do prefer this one. It may sound a little bit, uh, yeah. a little bit boxy, but not too, it's not too bad. No, definite improvement. Now for our high-end Ava Media, and we're recreating a very serious video call about serious matters in South Korea. What would happen to the wider region now? Well, I think it's, it's a key oh, question how you, oh, how you respond oh, to a scandal, John, I really. I think one of your kids just walked it's, in. It's, oh, it, John. That, uh, right. Do, how do you res <clears throat> Sorry about this. <laughs> Biscuits, you know. The Ava Media also has omnidirectional stereo mics with AI-powered noise reduction. A full-bodied sound. I'd say it was the best of the three. Could you hear any no uh, background noise picking up on my end? Just a faint murmuration. <laughs> so the Ava Media is our overall winner with two out of three. But while it may be better than most built-in webcams, is it really worth the extra money? Well then, John, what do you make of all of that? Uh, well, I think the Ava Media was definitely the best of the three, but none of those three budget webcams are really that good. And if you do really want to look a million dollars, I think you should consider plugging a dedicated camera into your computer. Manufacturers are increasingly making available the software to enable you to do it.